We begin with activities whose main function is to establish a sense of balance, such as standing on one foot, walking on a line, or balancing books on one's head. That's right. Very good. Keep your arms up to keep your balance. Students indicate balance using signals, different signs for balanced and not balanced. So Janet and Steven and Yamara, put your weight on the floor. Put your weight on the floor. And our Janet. Janet. Are we balanced or not balanced? Are we balanced? Balanced. Let me see balance. Okay, this book is 10 apples up on top. Dr. Seuss book. Ready? One apple up on top. I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Look, see, now I can hop with four apples up on top. Angie, have you ever tried to balance something on your head? You have? Did it fall down? No, you could do it. What about when you played count and mouse? <laughs> then you could do it, right? We continue to model the relational view of equals by having students experience balance using a seesaw or teeter-totter, okay. hand okay. balances, okay. and mathematical balances. Teeter-totter activities, such as a small child balancing a large child or one child balancing several children, serve as kinesthetic models of equals as balanced. The pan balance is useful when working with equality and inequality, as well as introducing the solution of equations. It can be used in combination with non-standard measure, such as weighing common classroom objects like erasers, crayons, pencils, to see how many pom-poms, paper clips, or unit cubes they are balanced by or the same as. A strong point of the pan balance is that it is self-correcting. It balances when quantities are of the same value, equalities, and it tilts when quantities are not of the same value, inequalities. Okay, the name of this story is Lucy and Tom's One, Two, Three by Shirley Hughes. Tom's making a seesaw. 
He plays the game of putting different toys on it to see which one goes up in the air and which one hits the ground. Sometimes you can get them to balance so that they're both up in the air at the same time. Any of you ever done anything like that? Yeah. Bears on Wheels by San and Jan Berenstein. One bear, one wheel. Ooh. One bear on one wheel. Two bears on one wheel. One, two, and look at here. 